Okay, we're going to get a few more here with Megan on the bridge. We just brought her forward. I've got her elbow kind of kicked out, her right elbow kicked out, leaning on that nice diagonal line from the top of the shoulder to the elbow. And then what I did with the bouquet hand, I just had her push it down the railing. Not like how you were pushing down the railing. Perfect. And that gives us another diagonal from the shoulder through her elbow to the wrist and the flowers too. All the lines, now when you look at the bridge leading into her, all the lines are just moving horizontally. And she has, uh, again, her lines and her body and arms and everything moving in that same direction. We got the green behind her, which is looking good. And right there, great. And I'm right now at about 135 millimeters. I can afford to go back further if I want. It's still looking kind of nice. Happier again. Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. Eyes only back to me. Hang in there a second. Good, good, good. Let's bring Christian in just for a couple more photographs here, if we can. Christian, how about on the other side of her? Yeah, can you get over? Go that way some more. Come in really close to her. Okay, easy smiles. Good, good, good. Beautiful, beautiful. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Good, good, good. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. All right, great. Do a couple full lengths, but I'm really liking the close ones better. Okay, Megan, chin down. Beautiful, you guys. I got him split lit, but I think it works okay. All right, you guys can relax. I'm just looking at some of these images from the park, some of those last ones that we did down there, and I'm still amazed at the, the beautiful quality of light that we got. Those last couple images we did of our bride and the bride and the groom on the bridge were just, just amazingly beautiful lighting. So anyway, I was, it was a kick to just see it all come together, see the lighting come together. But you know what? We wrapped the park. Next stop is down at the church, and we're going to head down to Sacred Heart Church, which is about the prettiest church that I've seen in this neck of the woods. we got some pretty ones up north, too. I'll tell you, this is one of the prettiest ones I've been in. You know, I've said it a couple of times, is even though uh, this is a wedding video, uh, the content of my, my series and my training is generally based on, you know, an off-camera flash, direction of lighting, and, and, uh, and, and decent composition, too. So whether you're a wedding photographer or whatever, I think there's something to be taken from this video uh, if you're a portrait photographer. I think when it comes to composition, that was key key factor for the things that we were doing down at the church, was finding the elements of composition that would come into play to give us a really exciting portrait. And of course, the portrait was always of the bride or of the groom. Another thing that came into play, too, was just the lighting in the church, too. There was one image, I remember, we were about two-thirds of the way through, and the sun, it was about, oh, I think about 4 o'clock, 4.15, the sun starts streaming in the stained glass window and gave this beautiful shaft of light against the other stained glass window. And I have a photograph right here that the bride is in like in a profile or off to one side and the light is just flooding her face. It's behind her, it's not on her, but it's behind her. It was a great leading line coming right into the composition. And it was, it was one of my favorite images. So these are the kinds of things you're going to see in this particular section. Composition, composition, composition. And I hope it'll help you see just a little bit differently what there is to see at these kinds of locations. So why don't we head down and, and let's visit that section right now.